Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison on all four of these Braun coffee makers. So these can look the same and I was a little bit confused when I was searching for coffee makers. So I wanted to do a comparison and show you the differences in these. On the left, I've got the touch screen. This is the new model KF73702012 cup touch screen. Next to it, I've got the 12 cup KF7170 coffee maker. This, the black one is their older one. It's model number KF7000 or basically 7000. And on the right, this is their probably their latest one is their 14 cup coffee maker. Model number KF5650. Now believe it or not, all these coffee makers have some slight differences. Now to, this one is a touch screen. This is their 12 cup touch screen. This is their 14 cup touch screen. Now these three all look really similar except this one's a touch screen. Um, this one here looks a lot like this one. It looks like they upgraded the clock and then they added strengths and temperatures. I can change the temperature of the carafe low, medium, and high and I can do a bold or a regular brew. Their older one here I can't change the temperature of the carafe and I cannot do a bold brew. It's just a very basic coffee maker. So appearance-wise, these are these three are all identical. This one's a little bit bigger because it's the 14 cup, but it has the exact same makeup as these. They all use cone filters, number four cone filters. I don't have the reusable in this one, but they've all got the same brew basket. They take the same carbon filter back here. They've got the little steps. Again, the brew basket. This is their older one. Now their 14 cup, they changed things up a little bit. They did add a window on the front to show you how much water you've got installed. That's pretty nice, but it takes the same carbon filter. The brew basket's a little bit bigger. Same style of brew head built into the lid. So one thing when, when coffee makers, when bronze are new, you're supposed to snap these in. But as you get, as they get older, they don't really snap. They kind of lose that snap function. So the 12 cups all have pretty much the exact same craft and warming plate. Now bronze, their, their warming plates do tend to wear over time, but even as bad as this one looks with rust, it still works pretty good. This one's a pretty old coffee maker. Braun does make a pretty reliable coffee maker, so they do last a while. But the one thing with bronze is the controls can be a little, they can be a little confusing sometimes. Now this older one, the screen was really small and using the buttons, you know, it got a little confusing, but I did notice, so the bigger the screen is, the more they added, they added these two extra buttons here, that helps. The touch screen I found to be very user friendly. And then this touch screen is just, it looks a little bit different, um, but it acts about the same. I found this touch screen is okay. It works good. This touch screen I found worked a lot better. Okay, so let's point out some, this does three brews. It does, they, Braun's coming out with this fast, regular, and bold. This brew, it only does bold and regular. So no fast brew. This one again, there's only one brew. Here I've got the three brews. I've got also got another one, I got an over ice. So I've got fast, regular, and bold, and over ice. So I did find the fast brew. It was under, it was about 10 minutes. A normal, a regular brew takes about 12 minutes and a bold brew takes about 14 to 15 minutes. I do find that the bold brew, it does taste a little bit better, but it does take longer. These all sound relatively the same. When you brew, a, I'm not gonna brew a pot of coffee with each one. They all brew pretty much exactly the same pot of coffee. So where we get into some of the bigger differences is the warming plate. People like to be able to extend their warming plate time to keep their carafe warm. So this one has an auto off after two hours, no adjustment. And I can't change the temperature of the warming plate. It's just a standard, keeps the warming plate hot. That's pretty much like this older one. No temperature adjustment. It just uh, keeps the warming plate at a certain temperature. Now here where we get into KF7170, it's got this extra button. I can keep the warming plate high, medium, or low. And same with this one. This one also has this temperature selector here. I can select high, medium, and low. 
Again, sometimes this touch display doesn't work the best. But I can display, there it is, low, medium, and high for the warming plate on the 14 cup. So that's going to be a major difference between these. Again, the nice new touch screen, no adjustment on the warming plate. Here I've got three, none, and three. Now let's get into time. Auto off. Two hours on this new touch screen, 7370. I can't adjust the time that it turns off. It's going to turn off automatically after two hours. The KF7170, I can adjust that from zero to five hours. So I can go in there and I can set, when do I want this coffee maker to turn off? Do I want it to turn off after five hours or no? Anywhere in between that zero to five hours in like, like 15 minute increments or five minute increments. This older one, same thing. I've got this auto off button. That means I can adjust it between zero and five hours. The touch screen is between zero and four hours. So a little bit different, but I can at least I can adjust the auto off zero to four hours. And you may notice, so this one just went into standby mode. That clock's probably the dimmest. This one, there is no backlighting on it at all. This one goes to a little dimmer. This one stays nice and bright. I like the, the touch screen. The display stays nice and bright. This one, again, stays at one. It's just a little bit dimmer, but still very easy to see. This one definitely goes dimmer. When you turn it on, it gets brighter. And again, I did do a video on over ice. The over ice did work. Um, it turned the uh, warming plate off after the brew. Um, do I think that's, you know, it's kind of a nice feature. It did work. These definitely don't have over ice, but you could pretty much simulate that over ice by turning the uh, warming plate off and just doing the same amount of, because it didn't change the temperature of the, of the brew. It just did a little um, different there. You could do the same with these. Just add a bunch of coffee and not as much water. As you can see around back, they all look relatively the same. You wouldn't even know hardly. Now price-wise, amazingly enough, this 14 cup right now is the cheapest. It's around $70. This older one is harder to find. I had to get this off Facebook Marketplace. This is kind of where I started my coffee maker reviews. I wanted to get a brawn. Bought this one used, cleaned it up. Very nice coffee maker. These two, right now they're on sale, but these average around 100, um, 120. You kind of see them all over the place at different, uh, on different uh, places. So it's kind of neat to see what the, you know, the older version, you can see what they upgraded. They left the internals the same. So it must be working okay to leave like the internals the same, but they just changed, you know, they left the buttons the same on this one. They kind of shortened them, but they're kind of the same, but they added something that maybe people were wanting. They made a clock bigger. And then over here, they just changed everything up. They went to a, a um, touch screen, which I do really like, but looks like they kept all the internals the same. And then this 14 cup, I've noticed a lot of coffee makers are starting to get into the 14 cup. Mr. Coffee just came out with one. Cuisinart's had one around for a while. It's very popular, but um, yeah. So Braun got into the 14 cup. This is a big carafe. It gets pretty heavy when you want to do 14 cups. They all have the clean light. So when you, so here it's like a little light that lights up. Here, this button lights up. When it's time to descale your coffee maker, um, that little clean light lights up. I've got videos on how to descale all of these coffee makers. So if I, if I had to choose one, I would probably get this newer touchscreen, but you don't have as many options. This one, if you definitely want those, those more options with the carafe, then this one's definitely the one to get, the KF7170. But when you look online, these things look so similar on the pages that it's very hard to distinguish. Like, well, why is that one different? That one's got a different model number. And they, they have some of these with um, stainless steel carafes. These are all have the warming plates. So I just wanted to do a video to kind of show you what the differences are. I'll put a link to all of them in my show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the products don't cost you anymore, but I do get a little bit of money from those clicks. Thanks everybody for watching. And again, check out all my Descale videos on all three of these. I've got how to program them. Programming can be a little tricky. They all have hard water uh, softness. You can change this hard waterness from H1, H2, H3. So depending on how hard your water is, you can tell the coffee maker how hard your water is. So thanks everybody for watching.